do yeah. the meditation and then she went to see no the cards. You probably and know what was going through yeah. the mind of these individuals. A tragedy shaking the small city of Enix to its core. It's not too often something like this hits very close to home. Uh, in fact, the hates were my neighbors. The youngest children played in my yard with my sons. The hate children were all students in the Iron County School District. We noticed that there's quite a few students that are gone today in their school. And we recognize that the next several, several days, weeks, months that are coming are going to be difficult for our schools and for our teachers. After nearly 20 years of marriage, court records show Tasha filed for divorce on December 21st in Iron County. Authorities say they received a call Wednesday that Tasha had missed an appointment. When Tasha wasn't found, a missing person report was submitted. That's when police discovered the bodies, all eight suffering from gunshot wounds. Police were from Gunshots. We had been uh, involved in some investigations with the family a couple years prior. According to the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition, homicides in rural communities are three times as likely to involve an intimate partner than in large cities. You don't need a big city for that to, to really impact a community. Aaron Jemison hopes this tragedy gives Utah the urgency to invest in more resources. We still brush it under the rug. We still don't want to talk about it and we worry that we're getting in, into someone's private business when really people are often asking for help and they're not getting the support that they need. I also spoke with Tasha's divorce attorney today. He told me he'd only met with her two or three times and that there were, quote, zero red flags. Reporting live in Enoch, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. Jenna, thank you. If you or a loved one is experiencing domestic violence, please reach out for help. The Utah Domestic Violence Coalition runs a 24-7 hotline. That number is 1-800-897-LINK, 1-800-897-5465, or you can go to udvc.org. This incident has the community of Enix stunned and devastated. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold continues our coverage after speaking with neighbors and family friends. A community in mourning. Nearby neighbors like Brianna Ba left in shock. It's just mind blowing. It's just you don't you don't hear about things like that, and then for it to happen in this little community. It's taking a toll on everybody. Tasha is just the heart and soul of that family. Tina Brown has known the hates for more than 20 years, developing a close relationship with Tasha, the wife to Michael, and mother of their five children. We shared a lot um, over the years, and we, we really had that, I, I almost want to call it an unbreakable bond. Brown says she has just recently spoken to Tasha. I know that oh. she, she was it. Was it. Which meant hearing the news that the H and Tasha's mother Gail were found dead that much harder to hear. I would explain to you what the officials telling Fox 13 News today that they believe all of them were killed inside the family's home Wednesday by Michael before he ultimately killed himself. It was a going up. It's almost like, you know, what I lost for words. I guess that's the only way that I can explain it. Just thinking like he have done something so yesterday city officials gathering at Phoenix City Hall Thursday afternoon you know, um, also getting emotional when talking about a family they say they not just knew but also loved um, it's not too often something like this hits pretty close to home uh, in fact the hates were my neighbors the youngest children played in my yard for this tight-knit community of about 7,500 people, they are left trying to figure out how to deal with such a tragedy. It's almost like we we grew up so sheltered in these small southern Utah communities that we don't see a lot of this. And sure, our kids hear about it on the news. A lot of heartache, a lot of a lot of questions, a lot of emotional. Don't don't really know how to take it. This is something like this has never happened here before as well as beginning a healing process. I know that everybody will, everybody will come together and help each other get through it. What 
the investigation continues, many people I've spoken with both last night and today continue to ask why. Why did this incident even have to happen? That's something the city manager even touched on during the press conference today, saying it's something they may never get the answer to. Here in Enoch, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah. We learned from the Associated Press that citizens of Enoch gathered this evening to mourn and sing hymns in a private vigil at a church up the street from the home where the victims were found. Bob, this tragic news here in Utah is making its way all the way to the White House. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden released a statement today saying they mourn with the community of Enoch. It says, quote, too many Americans have lost loved ones or had their lives forever changed due to gun violence, and gun violence remains yeah, the leading cause of death for children. Yeah. In the US Ahead at 9.30, what Utah lawmakers are doing to help protect victims of domestic violence. Stick with Fox 13 News as we follow the latest developments of this major story, both on air and online, at fox13now.com. New tonight,